Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here reporting live in Dallas, Texas for the 50th anniversary of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Now, I'm not here to even cover the 50th anniversary. I'm here to cover the managed media spectacle of violating free speech of the citizens of Dallas and Texas and America, where the corporate establishment media is here to push their propaganda and their official story, banning free speech, banning handing out flyers, having banners anywhere in the city. So I had to come up here because of this attack on free speech. We stood as Americans and decried in 1989 the Communist Chinese attacking peaceful democracy demonstrators in Tiananmen Square. But now we live under the system like China and it's no big deal. This is getting insane. So I came up here on Wednesday night this evening, went to the Dallas Private Federal Reserve to meet hundreds of listeners that came on a one day notice to be given 30,000 flyers pointing out the attack on free speech in Dallas, Texas, my hometown. And I've been there about an hour bullhorning. Those videos are up on YouTube and Ustream on Infowars.com. And the police show up, but just about eight of them with the main Dallas spokeswoman. And she starts telling people, riot police are coming. You're going to be arrested or ticketed on the side of a side road. She said, nowhere. 75 feet from any road can you have signs or talk to people or have free speech or hand out flyers. And I went to her and I said, my God, this is totally un-American. And then she said, well, that's the way it is with this whole fake cheerleader attitude. So I blew up at her because she's trying to steal my birthright, your birthright, that people have fought for all over the world that most countries don't have. And it was all a big joke to her. So I got in her face and then she left. So I left, I'd been there over an hour, got in the car, left, Rob Dew was still there. All these riot vehicles show up, all these police in phalanxes marching in groups of 20 with the plastic handcuffs and all the rest of it. We have it in high def video, we're gonna to try to upload it soon, but it takes hours to do. And Rob Dew was able to hear them talking about how we can't allow him to show us up and get in our face. We gotta get him, we gotta arrest him. And I'm gonna have Rob tell you that story in a minute. And we have some of this on video. But the issue here is that Dallas police, have you noticed all the liberties going out the window, all the prosperity, all the due process? If we don't have basic free speech to assemble on a side road on a Wednesday night with no one even around to just meet with activists and give them the flyers, we have nothing. We see the entire Bill of Rights and Constitution being trampled. Do you want your children growing up in a country like this? And then Dew and others got to hear the police talk about how they're going to get me. And where's Alex Jones? They were there, where's Alex Jones? Where is it? We're going to get him. Because I dared stand up and say, how dare you act like this? You know, if you really want to be slaves and have your pension funds taken and have your future destroyed and live under a like this, that's your business. I'm going to fight for freedom. I'm not intimidated. I've been arrested in New York, arrested in Austin, everywhere for free speech and liberty. You think I'm scared? I do open carry at the Alamo in defiance of the police chief. You think I'm scared that you're planning to crack my head with a billy club? You think I'm scared you want to throw me in Lusteric? You ought to be scared that you're willing to follow criminal orders like this. My forebears were on the Mayflower, 1776, the battle against Santa Ana. I'm a coward compared to them. And so I find it an honor to stand against your tyranny. But I feel sorry for you. And I wish I wouldn't have left. I thought it was over. Everybody was ready to go. I wish I could have been there so you could crack my head and show me who was boss. Because I dare say this wasn't communist China or North Korea or Nazi Germany. When you have this smiling woman out there going, well, it's an ordinance. Your ordinance is trumped by the First Amendment. Your ordinance is trumped by the veterans that fought and died for basic liberty. You people should move to North Korea. So tomorrow, 4 o'clock, we meet at a local park. It's on Infowars.com. Ferris. Ferris Park, and then we're going to march at 5 down Dealey Plaza to draw attention to the attack on the First Amendment. And if you want to make it at Tiananmen Square, you go ahead and you do it. Now, Rob Dew, I want you to briefly tell folks exactly what you saw and yep. what you witnessed. So we were leaving the area from the Federal Reserve. I'd already left. And, yeah, Jones had already left. I was getting the rest of the crew. 
and we're walking across the street, and there was the lady again with an older uh, black gentleman who looked like they were, you know, kind of older cops, and they were talking, talking. And this guy comes over. He goes, "You got to hear what they're saying." I said, "What are they saying?" He goes, "Man, they're saying we got to go over there and stop this because we have to show these people who's boss, and we can't let them act if we out." We let one ant stand up; exactly. they might all stand exactly. up. Exactly. It was just it was just out of a scene of, of that the Bugs Life movie, and they could not stand that. And then behind them. At least 15 to 20 cops, all with the plastic uh, uh, handcuffs, wearing the plastic handcuffs, draping down. We put it all, all up on Ustream. You can see the videos there. I got the, That's right, uh, the high def's coming. Right, we got the high def coming. We got an interview with the witness who heard that. Then I went up and asked them, I said, hey, are you guys planning on stifling free speech? They did, totally ignored me, marched across the street. And then they were asking people, where's the guy who was talking earlier? Where's the guy? We want to talk to him again. And uh, one of the patriots there dressed up in some period garb said, you mean Alex Jones on his bullhorn? And they're like, yeah, where's he at? And he said, well, he's already gone. And then with that, they kind of looked at each other and mumbled a little more. And then they kind of walked back across the street because that's who they were looking for. They were looking for Alex. But you told Alex. me you heard part of it when you went over. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were, they, and, and they were looking for Alex. They were totally looking for Alex, and they wanted to show him who was boss. Well, good. They, I want them to show me. They can kill me tomorrow. Yeah. That's good. hope they blow my head off because that will start – the resistance against them. And it, it was an amazing group of patriots. You see that state? Up. My family yep. helped found it. They're washed on the brasses. You go ahead and pull your crap. We're not cowards. We know who you people are. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. So I hope if you're in the Dallas area, tune into 104.1. Come down to Ferris Park, 4 o'clock. We're going to be gathering there. And then at 5, we're going to march on for free speech. And I love the people who made those giant LED signs that said freedom of speech. That's what this is all about. They were awesome. This is all about us standing together and taking a stand against this tyranny. That's right. And again, I'm not, I'm not an enemy of the average cop who has no future, GMO food, all this garbage. I want you to be free. But, I mean, you know, when you act, that one was like, if you don't leave, you'll be arrested. I mean, we're sick of this. We as Americans she was can't... smiling about it the whole time. They were smiling the whole oh, time. Yeah. That's what made me sick. It was all so fake. Ooh. Like, I'm smiling while I screw you. Yeah. I will hand out damn flyers in the nighttime on the side of a How side of a street by the Federal Reserve. You people are nuts. You're crazy. You're crazy. And it's all of this enabling this. And now in Dallas, they take blood at random checkpoints without warrants. You're all over the news. We're a laughing stock. My beloved state, your beloved state, has turned into a police state joke. And I'm the enemy. And then I learned that you were all just waiting to frickin' arrest me. Well, do whatever you want. But you screw your own future at the same time. God, I wish it was more that I could believe in you, that you would not act like total thugs, but you work for a criminal political system. It's not about free market. It's not about doing the right thing. It's not about what part of a gang you're part of. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. 104.1. We're transmitting for free speech right here in Dallas, Texas, on an open frequency. We're not backing down. Alex Jones signing off. Follow us on Twitter. Real Alex Jones. Live transmission from Dilly Plaza. 11 a.m. Central tomorrow. InfoWars.com.